can I can I ask you a question? Sure. Okay. So obviously, I'm making a lot of mechanical misplays, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, do you think I should just drop Kazix? Um, like for rank purposes, because like I'm I'm not really like I get like really nervous in ranks, you know. So okay. it's kind of different. Like, well, what is, what's your main champion? What are you? What? Okay, let's let's dive into it. I'll be shrink knees. What are you afraid of with ranked? Uh, <laughs> being silver. <laughs> but you already are. Basically, yeah. Those who don't try stay in low elo. Okay. So if I pull up your count right now, uh, what do I got here? Be you've got you've got well i'm not i'm actually not that disappointed that's the thing is you think i'm gonna be but i, I i'm not I, you know what i'm disappointed in i'm disappointed what? that you're spending all your time playing shitty normals and not playing the game okay you know what i mean that's what i i don't care about negative win rate you know why because the only way that you can because your your account like the only way that you can get better at the game is by playing it period point blank now okay you can buy a coach, I'll coach you, and basically I'll coach you whenever you want, but I want you to think about, did you, you probably didn't do my boot camp thing, did you? Mm -mm. So the boot camp, one of the conditions was everybody that did it, we were trying to get 100 games logged, played and logged in the 21 days. And then you're going to naturally go, well, then what's the point of having you coach if like you're just going to tell them to play? The point of having me coach you is so that when you play, you have to play less to get better. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. No matter what we're doing, no matter, you know, if, if, if you're going to be a basketball player, like you're going to have to shoot hoops. Doesn't matter. Now, a coach can make you better at the game of basketball, but you're still going to have to be able to hit the shot you need to stop playing norms. Okay. You're just doing it because you're scared to fail, but you're going to fail. So you might as well get the failing out of the way now and just play the game. No one gives a shit about norms. All, all norms is, is a bunch of people going, hee hee, this is hee hee, hee hee, right? And just dicking around. It's cool. Like if you're, if you're just killing time with friends that don't really play the game, but if we play this game all the time and it's part of who we are in terms of like our identity, like we play it enough, I'd, I, I would be mad at myself if I wasn't trying to be good at it. Right. But that's, again, that comes down to what you want out of the game. Like what's your goal with the game? Is that a question or just, yeah, yeah. What's else? your goal with the game? I just really enjoy playing it. You enjoy playing and... it, but what's your goal with it? My goal with it, yeah. Well, I well, well, you bought a coach, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. yeah. I do, okay. There is a point in time where I really do want to get diamonds, but it's really like it's really daunting, of course. It's daunting. Well, maybe that's what it is. Maybe we have to just get you to start goal setting, like, we have to start get you to literally just be like, I'm gonna play X amount of games. Do you know what I'm saying for you? Yeah, yeah. Like you have to start like holding yourself accountable to the amount of games that uh, that you need to play. What's our open here? I'll focus up on the game now. What are, what are we thinking? You don't overcome your fear fear of failure. You act in spite of it. And when you start acting in spite of things, instead of trying to fix them before you act, then you'll stop being stuck. Because you guys want to fix everything before you do anything. Much better because it's a champion you've practiced, though. Yeah, I have a decent amount of experience. So, I think for you, the best course of action to prevent this scenario that you're you're running into right now, because you just basically have anxiety of playing ranked. Mm -hmm. Um, you are just going to, uh, how many, how many games do you play, uh, of league a day? A lot. And you're mostly playing lot. norms. You're just hiding in yeah. norms. <laughs> That's Pretty what's happening, now. right? You're hiding away. You're like, hee hee, it's safe over here. It's the kiddie pool, right? Um. Pretty much. They're just destroying kids and norms, you know? Yeah, that would be the, the first thing I would tell you is that you need to stop Basically, you need to stop 
chilling in norms and mm. accept that in order to get better, you're going to have to face plan a bunch like you did in the Kha'Zix game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let's say you play eight games a league, 10 games a league. If your goal is eventually to make diamond, more than half of those games should be spent in ranked, not the other way around. Just deal with it. Just who cares? Okay. So you go from gold to silver. Who gives a shit? I've never once, I've never once been hanging out with Mary and she seriously goes, Oh my God, Mark, you're so good at League of Legends. <laughs> it's never. <laughs> so I, I just, I don't think anybody cares as much as we do. Do you know what I'm saying? I deal with the, what's it? The uh, imposter syndrome from time to time where it's like, should I really be doing this as a job? Right? Like, am I worthy yeah. of the job? I would say, I would say generally, uh, just fuck all that. Like just skip that and instead just focus on what you know is correct. And in this case for you, your problem is you're just, you're just too low volume. It would be like, it'd be like if you hired a poker coach, it'd be the same thing. They'll be like, all right, I'm gonna watch you play poker. You make some mistakes. And they go, okay, pull up your graph, all right? This is like a common thing with poker players. All right, pull up your graph, dude. And how many hands have you played? You've only played a thousand hands this week. What the fuck? You're not playing enough poker hands. How are you ever going to, how are you ever going to get to where you're supposed to go? How are you ever going to get better? And the other thing is uncomfortable positions and plays that play that I had you make. That's probably the most aggressive play you've ever made in the past month. Okay. Sit there, sit there. Don't show if someone pops up. We dive them. Okay. Now go, go. Awkward. Yeah, it was awkward. You would ult. Smite. That was pretty aggressive for me. Yeah. Right? Right? Yeah. The reason that we made that play is because I was like, oh, you know, we're fed. There's a couple, there's a couple gone here. And we misplayed it a little bit, right? And that's okay. That's cool. Like you notice it didn't, it, nothing happened. Nothing, it's whatever. Right. Uh, yeah, you're going to throw some games sometimes doing that, but you're also just going to be more comfortable in an uncomfortable position. I want you constantly thinking about how can I propel the game forward? And if you noticed, think about that one time you were going to clear your full blue side. I told you not to do that because I was thinking in terms of how can I get my item on the map and use it immediately? It's a very powerful spike to get Prowl Prowler's Claw. So what I want you to do Think about our champion's strengths and how we can leverage those. So if I've got, you know, the three camp Prowler's Claw, and then what was the play I had you try to do? Well, I had you try to go behind tower and, and do a really aggressive dive. My brain is viewing it like this. I know that if we hit a good knockup and we combo correctly, there's a pretty good chance that we one shot either of them. Now, we didn't smite right away or whatever, but had we made that play, we're playing towards our strengths, right? We're good at diving. We're, we have really strong ganks. We're really tempo. So that's the type of play that I want to have. And that's all it is, is I'm just viewing our champion in, in its entirety. And I'm just saying, well, what's, what's the best thing that we can do with this champion? And I'm just trying to do that thing as fast as I possibly can. Um, good session today, dude. I hope it helps. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to look over it <laughs> many yeah. times just to get all the points right. I want you in out or out of norms though. It should be like 80, 20, not, not 20, 80. And by that, I mean, 80% ranked 20% norms. Yeah. Yeah. You're just vegetating in norms. You're not doing anything. Right. You want to look back on your time spent in this game and be like, man, I got better. Like I, I thought about the game. I improved. I, I studied a bit, like take pride in your shit. Even if it's a fucking video game. All right. Yeah. yeah. All right, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Peace.